last week with uh, you know the game at Florida. Uh, thought our guys showed a lot of resiliency down there. Uh, going and putting the game in overtime, Trey made a great play to get us in overtime, and then to close the game out. That was our sixth overtime game in the, this uh, SEC season, and uh, we're five away in overtime. And then we came home, obviously uh, played Bandy our last home game. Uh, I thought through uh, obviously um, uh, adverse, uh, not adversity. Our guys showed uh, against a lot of resiliency and toughness on Saturday. I guess uh, Bandy without, you know, obviously Coach and Coach Wade, Javante, and Nas. Uh, I thought our group uh, did a great job of uh, uh, really having tunnel vision and staying focused on the task at hand and and, uh, and going out and playing really, really well uh, against Bandy. I thought that, you know, uh, Scholar Mays, Tremont Waters, Cavell, Bigley, Williams, those three guys did a great job of leading the, leading the group and, uh, we were really, uh, really pleased with the outcome, obviously, and, and really pleased to win the uh, SEC championship outright. First question, uh, I guess, just for you personally, uh, uh, you know, do you, have you been told anything about the, the, the uh, your, your job status as far as the interim coach? And do you expect to be? Are you plan? Are you preparing to to be the coach in the SEC tournament at this point? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Scott. Uh, I have been told otherwise. Uh, we're just uh, in here today, uh, preparing uh, myself and, co- and the uh, other coaches, uh, uh, Coach Hire and Armstrong, and uh, have been told otherwise that we, or, you know, that I'm not going to be. So we're just prepare uh, like we are, like we did going into the uh, Bandy game, and uh, just get prepared for uh, prepare our guys for for, for the uh, tournament. Tony, I'm just wondering also if you have any uh, status update for uh, Javante Smart and Nas Reed in terms of their availability for this week? No. Uh, first, with Javante, we don't have uh, an update on that yet. Hopefully we'll have, they told me we may have an update tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, some, maybe tomorrow afternoon sometime. Uh, we'll see. Nas' status, uh, we should know something uh, probably uh, a little bit this afternoon on Nas. Uh, I visited with him yesterday, talked to him yesterday. Uh, he's feeling a lot better. Uh, I think he's going to see the doctors again today, uh, Pat. And so hopefully, uh, you know, he'll be ready to go. So we'll we'll continue to monitor his situation. Which uh, contact have you had with Will over the past couple of days? Even, I guess, in, in planning stuff for this week. Well, I talked to Coach uh, briefly last night. Uh, before his uh, uh, planning, we uh, one thing we have we have a great staff. Uh, Greg Hire who. Uh, Came in from Wichita State. Greg is one of the best young coaches in the country. And then Bill Armstrong, who's been around this league a long time, he was at Ole Miss and he's on our staff. So Greg Hire, we, we rotate our scouts for uh, preparing for opponents. And so uh, Coach Hire had Bandy. Uh, Coach Armstrong had Florida last week. And, uh, you know, so we, we the, the team was pretty prepared. You know, Coach had made some, obviously, some notes and stuff prior to uh, the Bandy game. And uh, so we just went with the game plan that we had going into the uh, – uh, you know, the bandit game, there's no reason to change anything. We have the same routine. And I, I got to tell you, the leadership that we've got and that we're getting from uh, Scholar Mays and Tremont Waters has is, is, uh, been unbelievable. And so when you have guys like that, that makes you know, my job as uh, as an interim coach, uh, you know, a lot easier. Yeah, Tony, I wonder how much with everything going on with Coach Wade and so on, if that's been sort of a, something to rally around for the guys to uh, – Kind of either win it for him or kind of show that uh, it's not going to beat him down. Well, a really good question. Uh, I think it's a, when when you look at the season we've gone through, you, you, you go back and, and, and these guys have been through a lot. I mean, you can't imagine as far as losing your your brother, so to speak, and Wade Sims the first day right before practice began. And uh, you know, I, as a player, when I, I played years ago at Texas Tech, I lost a teammate, uh, you know, who passed me on the floor while we were playing a pickup game my sophomore year. I can imagine what these guys are going through, dealing with that. And they showed a lot of resilient toughness throughout the season, uh, you know, dealing with that. And, 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 and they kind of dedicated the season to, to Wade. And you can, that's why these guys play, uh, they play for them. They talk about every day, play for 44, play for 44. We have six, they have five. And I think when we get in close games and as we've been in, you know, we went 9 0 on the road, 5 1 in overtime uh, in the SEC play. I think these guys just, they, they got a, it's a brotherhood. You know, this is the closest group I've ever been around in my 28 years of coaching at this level. And, and they trust one another. They trust our staff. And they just show a great deal of toughness uh, and, and, and ability to make plays when they need to. 
And with, with everything they've gone through with Wade and then uh, more recently, how are they holding up mentally, physically? I mean, the, I wonder if the, you know, it's a long season in the best of circumstances. Yeah, 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 it is. And I think, you know, we've done it, uh, uh, we have great support here at uh, LSU. Uh, you know, we have, uh, uh, you know, sports psychology, you know, uh, psychology on hand. We have, uh, you know, the uh, administration's done a good job, you know, giving us some, uh, some people around that can really help us with the support. We have great relationship. These guys are, you know, with the, uh, uh, the players have great relationship with our coaching staff, so we spend more time with them. Uh, so that's important. And they spend more time with each other, uh, also. And so that's the one thing we kind of, everybody talks about family and being the brothers, keeper and all that. And, and I, I got to live that. And I think that's what we're going to continue to do.